Thank you. So uh, I'm going to present to you um, a field experience in French Guiana over sea territory in South America. Um, there was a call project uh, for a DGS, uh, uh, General Direction of Health. It was an experimentation for the development of vaccination against the infections caused by human papillomavirus. And the main aim was to increase the HPV immunization coverage. So two regions were uh, selected, have been selected, French Guiana and Grand Est. Uh, there were two main actions. First, training of healthcare professionals allowed to vaccinate. And second, organization and achievement of immunization campaign inside middle school. This, uh, well, So French Guiana is an overseas territory, very unusual territory, located in South America, between uh, Suriname and Brazil, and it's uh, mainly covered, covered by forest. Uh, all the infrastructure are based on the narrow coastline where 80% uh, of the population live. The 20% remaining uh, are living along the two border, the, to the two border rivers, and uh, if you want to go there, you can take a plane or a pirogue. There is no road. Health situation in French Guiana is quite difficult. Uh, population in French Guiana is very young because 50% uh, of the population are less than 25 years old. And uh, there are many cultures, many languages. Uh, the indigenous communities, essentially Americans, uh, Amerindians and Bushinangis, are scattered all along there all along the river and there. In many hamlets bound to one small village with in the village municipal authority, health structure and schools and nothing there. Only one there, one there, one there, one there. This population use traditional medicine and respect the traditional authorities' decisions. So no health program can be implemented without their approval. So health situation in Guyana, it's difficult because uh, one of the main difficulties it's a real lack of healthcare professionals. For instance, about four times less physicians in Guyana than in France. And hospital, medical specialists, and all other health professionals are, can be found only on the coast. In isolated areas, there are only health centers for general medicine and emergency. And the health centers are based here, 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 and here. There, all the medical care provided are free. About the HPV epidemiology, cervical cancer in French Guiana is a second most common of female cancer, and there is a very high prevalence rate of HPV infection because uh, in the population living along the rivers, we found 35% uh, 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 with HPG, a, HPV positive. And there are many infection risk, risk factors. 
the average age for beginning sexual activity is 15 against 17 in other others department sexual relations with multiple partners are very common so much so that the, the high authority of health recommends to initiate the cervical cancer screening at 20 years old against 25 in other departments. But access to uh, screening is very limited, especially in isolated villages. Then HPV immunization seems to be very necessary in that territory. But the HPV immunization coverage is very low. It's estimated at approximately 10 to 15 persons on the coastline and uh, close to zero in the remote villages. Because HPV vaccine is not available in the health centers, uh, vaccination in health centers are uh, provided by the hospital, and the hospital has uh, not enough money. It's too expensive for the hospital to buy it. So we don't have any HPV vaccine in the health centers. And uh, people, uh, there are no pharmacies in uh, uh, remote villages, and uh, people, many people don't get social insurance. So they don't go, no, they can't buy it. All these reasons led us to focus our action on the isolated areas. The project targets the health care professionals working in the local health centers, the parents, and the pupils. Different actions were planned and taken. Training of health mediators were, who come from the community were indispensable, indispensable to organize the meeting with the parents to inform them about the project health professionals training, information to pupils, and first campaign, vaccination campaign. We went to meet the parents, but most of them live outside the village in isolated hamlets. They never come to the school, so if you want to reach them, you must go and meet them in their houses. Going to the different uh, villages and in the main village take us, took us three, day, three or four days. Only women stay at home. We discussed, we discussed about cervical cancer immunization and parental consent, why the women did their home working. And we, we, we heard them. Several of them asked to be vaccinated themselves. They had mainly a positive opinion about the project, but many of them didn't speak French, so we often had to use the linguistic skills of the mediator to get our message across. We went to see the pupils. Uh, we went into each classroom to provide the pupils with uh, relevant information about sexual transmissible infection and the methods of prevention, cervical cancer, screening, and immunization. These information sessions were followed by a discussion during which questions uh, were asked and answered. Uh, the professional training. A training program has been written for health professionals, doctors, midwives and nurses. 
It, had, it has been accredited by the National Agency for the Continuing Professional Development. The training session lasted four hours. The main learning goals were understanding the interest of HPV vaccination in general and especially in French Guiana, knowing what to do with vaccine hesitancy, understanding vaccines effectiveness and their limitation along with the indication, contraindication and side effects of HPV vaccination. <sighs> All the health professional, professionals present in the village at that time took part at this action. According to our final assessment of this training session, its results were good and even excellent. And at least the immunization campaign the immunization campaign, vaccination campaign required highly efficient logistics, particularly around the cold chain, because vaccines were brought by boat eight hours of pirogue uh, to the village, and the logisticians got a hard work to preserve it inside the health center too. Because of the lack of uh, health professionals in the village, we needed the help of school doctors and nurses coming from the coastline for doing the vaccines. The immunization sessions were planned over two days in the school infirmary for the girls bringing up a parental consent form signed. Uh, it was a difficulty to to uh, um, obtain it. Only girls were immunized. Only girls were immunized because the project has been developed, developed before the authorization on boys' immunization. On the first day, 86 girls were vaccinated on 246 registered, many others were expected the day after. But on the evening of the first day, a message on WhatsApp had been sent to all the parents of the community, telling them that their girls would become sterile if they received the HPV vaccine. And the same night, the church evangelists and Jehovah's Witnesses advised against the vaccination and told the population, don't make your girls vaccinated. Therefore, we couldn't vaccine any girl the second day. The, the first day of the campaign vaccination was in uh, uh, December uh, 2019, and uh, we uh, scheduled uh, to come back in June uh, 2020, but there was a crisis, and in French Guiana, all the schools were closed uh, from March to September 2020. They never open in, in 2020. So we can't uh, return there. And at present, there is a high mistress about vaccine, especially COVID-19. Uh, uh, we are the, the last department. Uh, only 35% uh, are uh, vaccinated over 20, 12 years. 35% over 12 years I vaccinated in French Guiana uh, against COVID-19. And now parents uh, uh, are scared about every vaccination because they think that there is COVID in every vaccination. So we have a hard work to change it. 
So perspective, we want to continue the project because now COVID-19 is quite, uh, it's quite uh, uh, calm and uh, we, we want to return in another uh, village of the Marani in Maripasula during the first quarter of uh, 2022 and uh, gradually deploy in the other villages of uh, Maroni and in the long term objective is to be able to realize HPV immunization in all the middle schools of the territory but uh, I think it's not immediately. Thank you very much.